Hey guys, so in this video I'm just going to cover processing custom domain lists. So there's two ways to do this. Um, if you have your own domains list that you'd like to process through Spamzilla, you can do that. Um, or if you'd like to use some uh, domains from Spamzilla that haven't received all of their metrics, um, so you know they're missing their Spamzilla score down here. Um, you can easily select any domains from the list here and just click on the plus button, which is the add domains button. And it will pop it'll show this window and it will populate the domains that you've selected into this box. Uh, you can then give it a name for the list so that it's saved to your account and so that later on you can come back to this list if you need to. So uh, we'll just call it something simple. Uh, test today. And then you just click on the send to SZ or Spamzilla button here. If you had your own domains list and you weren't selecting some from our database, uh, you just simply copy and paste your domains list into this box, uh, just with one domain per row or per line. Then you just click on the send to SZ button and now you can see a bit of a different user interface. This is the original user interface. And you just simply click on the start button and Spamzilla will go away and start processing these domains. Uh, once you receive some results, you can click on a domain and the tabs that are similar to the what you see in the domains table and this information uh, and the screenshots, it will all appear on this side. So I just wanted to quickly cover that for you um, so that you know that you can run your own custom lists and um, they will use your Spamzilla credits that you get with your subscription. Okay, thank you.